Hey, what's up YouTube? So I get this question a lot. I wanted to answer it, especially now that I have a PlayStation 3 controller in front of me. You can see I have it hooked up through the micro USB um, connected to the Pi. Uh, when you first boot up, if you have it connected to your Pi and you're running any recent version of RetroPie, like 4.2 or 4, any 4 or older, you should be able to auto detect this just by plugging it in, going to the USB into your Pi, and pressing this center button. You do want to make sure that there, your PlayStation 3 nearby is not on. Make sure it is powered off and this is not paired to it. That might be one of your issues. But once you do that, this is an auto detect. It now has one of the, the one light is on under number one, port one. And uh, I don't have it configured yet though. So you are going to need a keyboard or another controller. This is the F710. And the F710 is already binded and configured. But I'll just go here, hit start, go to configure input, hit A, are you sure? Hit A again. And you can see I have two gamepads detected, one of them being this F710. The other one being this PlayStation 3. So uh, now I'm just going to go ahead and, um, you know, calibrate it, configure it. So I'm going to hold down A where A would normally be. And then we start with the D-pad, up, down, left, right. Start, select, pretty obvious. A is going to be X, B, 0, uh, square, X. Square is going to, X is going to be square on the PlayStation controller. Y is going to be the triangle on the PlayStation controller. Now, if you want to play Super Nintendo, you might switch those out. You might put Y and then X and then B and then A. That's up to you. Easy to do. Left shoulder, left shoulder, left trigger, right trigger. And then we got the thumb. You got to click in the thumb. So you're just going to press directly down, like click it like a button. Click down, should be button one, button two, and then uh, analog stick. Up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right. Don't worry, and then I press A again, and it just takes a couple seconds here. Uh, remember that uh, you're not going to use your right analog stick much, so don't worry about that. And then here we are. Now I'm fully controlling this with my PlayStation controller, as you see. Uh, so it's that easy. I'm in. Now, it gets a little more complicated when you want to do Bluetooth, so you want to go ahead and go wireless now. You're like, that's cool, Drew. I go wired, and you know, here I have like an 8-foot cord, so it's plenty long, very easy to do. If you want to go wired, you do need to install uh, certain drivers to make that work. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into um, your RetroPie menu depending on how many menus you have here. It might be hard to find RetroPie. Then you go into RetroPie Setup. Okay. There should be, and then in uh, Manage Packages, there should be Driver Packages under Driver. Click that. And you should have PS3 Controller. I already have mine installed. I'm going to go ahead and update it really quick. Maybe there's new ones. I'm not sure when the last time I updated this was. Um, and you would go through a similar process of just saying update from source. You will need to be plugged into a LAN or on Wi-Fi. If you want to go to Wi-Fi, you can put your password in and connect to a network in that previous screen at RetroPy Setup. Scroll down a few, there's a little thing called Wi-Fi. And then you might need to plug in a computer if you have a password. All right, so we're almost done here. I just finished updating the PlayStation drivers. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit Enter and then quit and restart my system. While the system is restarting, I'm unplugging my uh, PlayStation 3 controller, and it's now totally gone. There's no buttons on whatsoever. And I'm just going to wait for this to reboot. So once you start seeing this screen here, Emulation Station, or you can wait until it's fully booted up, you can hit this middle PlayStation button, and it's blinking and it just vibrated and you can see the button, see those little red lines and then boom now it's detected and it's stuck on port number two I think it's stuck on port number two because I still have my F710 hooked up so it's saying it's a it's a second port now mine works already because I preset mine up but what you'd want to do is after it's detected you're gonna still need to use a, a separate controller to get yourself to this screen here press start configure input Yes. And then now you can see I have two gamepads detected, one of them being this one that no longer uh, has a wire on it. You can see there's no wires, no wires, see? And it's you know, port two. You can see it's glowing. And I, just to show you, I hold down the button and PlayStation 3. So D-pad, up, down, left, right, start, select, A, B, X, Y, left shoulder, right shoulder, right, left shoulder, right shoulder, thumb, thumb, up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right, A or X on the controller, that'll bring us back into here, 
And uh, let's just play a, uh, a pl so you can see it's still working. I'm going to go ahead and unplug my Logitech just because I don't want it to think that that's first player. And let's go to PlayStation. Let's say you want to play R-Type Delta, for example, for PlayStation. I'm playing PlayStation games because this is the perfect controller to play PlayStation games with. But you can play any game you want, Super Nintendo, Nintendo. And I really like this controller because you are... Um, a lot of people have this controller lying around already. So as much as I like like the GS3, um, G3S, and all these other controllers, if you already have this controller lying around, it's a great, capable controller. And the Rumble Pack does work. The Dual Shock. So every time you destroy something, you get a nice little vibration here. So that's nice to get the feedback working on here. Oh, doggy. All right, start select out. And there you have it. I mean, it's uh, pretty basic, but it works. That's the PlayStation 3 controller working good. That's how you do it. Problem solved. If you have a question, comment below. Like this video because it was helpful to you or just because, why not? Make sure you subscribe to the channel because there's lots of cool videos like this one on the channel and more coming. And we'll see you on the next one.